Good luck out there. going to bust this thing. Hold on to this. Ah, the trick with ghosts is to never let them know you exist. And by that, I mean all hard. good. for anyone else to leave, literally. in there. I have to break the tether, otherwise I'll be cooked. <laughs> kind of tickled. I'm deploying the trap. If you want to know everything's fine, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, take care now. Cool off. I see it. 
Judging by the numbers, that place is at least 50% haunted. It's strong, but I've got him. Got eyes on. Nothing to see here. Just your standard ectoplasmic exorcism. Thanks. Watch out, ghost. Here I come. Oh. It's haunting this whole place. We gotta hurt. It hurts real bad. Don't let it get away. I didn't see that coming. Thanks for looking out. Listen up, I've got big things, big things underway. Report to the bookstore immediately. Keep this between us. Over. Ah, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second longer. You see before you, Perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago and it just arrived. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I've paid a great deal of money, well, Winston's money, to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. It turns out it was right under Tobin's nose all along, literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with him. Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. Yes, you, Ghosty. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the mighty.
magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now, lost spirit, as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold! Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. There we are. Today is not your finest day, ghosty, but it is your lucky. First, you need to find your footing. A figure of speech, of course, because as you probably noticed, you haven't got any feet. <laughs>